Mamaduku is a Zimbabwean, born 20 July 1966 uh, in Chipinga district. Um, went to school in Zimbabwe, ended at the University of Zimbabwe here with um, a law degree and then went to the United Kingdom to do a master's and a PhD. So I'm a lawyer by profession and then because of um, postgraduate training my main work is as an academic, so teaching law students. So I'm a professor of law in the university. And I'm a family person. Then I've been very active in politics. That's all I can say about myself. Uh, can you tell us about the NCA, the political party, and the values you believe in? All right. The NCA as a political party did not start as a political party. It started as an NGO in 1997, pushing for a new constitution. Uh, the idea of the NCA then as an NGO is still relevant to the NCA as a political party. As a non-governmental organization, the focus of the NCA was to ensure that there is the involvement of people in all affairs that affect them, particularly in the way they are governed. People must be able to determine for themselves what is best and they must input. So we fought for a new constitution. That battle didn't succeed because eventually the politicians hijacked the process and imposed a constitution in 2013. So the NCA as a political party is stemming from that uh, process when it was an NGO. But now, wanting to fight as a political party principally for the beliefs that it had, which is principally social justice. Uh, the, belief, oh the, okay, the belief of the NCA is that uh, politicians, if they are left to themselves, will always drive society towards um, self-serving issues. So the NCA believes in first what we call social justice as a matter of policy. Social justice means empowerment of poor people. So we are, if you want to use the pro examples that are used by others, we are pro-poor, pro-impoverished people, pro the weak. So we are, as a political party, want to fight to create a society where the weak are adequately taken care of by the state. And you take the weak into account by formulating laws that ensure that they do, empowering them economically, empowering them in terms of their social life, health, education, um, ensuring that society has adequate infrastructure. So I would say as a philosophy, we believe in a pro-weak policy. For these and other stories, visit our website www.263chat.com. Follow us on Twitter at 263chat and like our Facebook page, 263chat.